We're back at Hollywood Casinos with one three no limit, and I'm in for two hundred dollars. Um, I was stacking a couple guys up, but now we're about to get into some action as he raised to I think it's sixteen dollars. I call sixteen. I have pocket jack, feeling pretty good. I know this guy on my left. We've been playing, you know, versus each other, and he's been pretty aggressive. So um, he's pretty tilted how I stacked them already. So let's see what happens. The board comes seven of spades, four of hearts, ace of diamonds. I check it, and I, then I check it again because I see that, you know, everybody's weak. I didn't think anybody had an ace. So this guy, once again, he's aggressive. He bets out $45. I think he's weak, so I see everybody folding. And I don't decide to just, you know, snap call or anything like that. I got pocket jacks. I think I got the best hand, so what do I do? I raise it, $100. Oh, not here. Yeah, my bad. Okay, I didn't raise $100. I raised $90. My bad. So I double this bet and let him know that I'm pretty strong. Whether he believes it or not, that's on him. But I don't think he had an ace. I think my pocket jacks are good. If he would have um, called me, and then I will probably re-race to show that um, I have an ace. But he folds, and we take down the pot. Let's go, baby. You won't believe the next hand that we play. I get the All-American, the double A's. And guess what? I check it because I know the guy is aggressive. The flop comes three of diamonds, queen of diamonds, and the ace of spades. I check because I you know I got trips. I'm not going anywhere. He throws out 30. I call. I check it again. On a turn, it's three of hearts. And this guy, like I said, he's aggressive. He bets out $55. Everybody folds except for me. Of course, I call 55 because I got the full house, baby. He doesn't even know. I wonder what he has. Have no idea. But um, after I decide, I got some value out of it. So I go all in. It's a five hits, a five of diamond hits the river. He calls. I show eights is full, threes. Let's go, baby. So the next hand that we play is nine jack of diamonds. Looking pretty good, feeling pretty good. Um, the guy bets out $45, the aggressive player once again. Um, I think only it's me and him. Everybody else folds. Um, he He's just been aggressive the whole night. And the only time that you play against aggressive players, you want them to your left. Like you want to have them to your left or either you know because you is it like a strategy that i play i don't know why i put out the white chip but i called the 45 um dollars it's a strategy that i play with um aggressive players if i know they're aggressive i check it and let them basically hang themselves but the flop comes nine of spades four diamonds and queen of diamonds i check he checks surprisingly on a turn it's a two of diamonds we hit the jack high flush our call is 25. He quickly bets. I check. Thinking he was going to bet. But he just checks back. And I show that I have the flush. And he just... I don't know. He doesn't muck his hands. Like taking his time. I don't know. I guess he's mad that we just keep stacking them. But he hasn't learned this lesson yet. But yep. We take down the pot. Let's go baby. Let's get into the last hand of the night. Uh, the table is basically broken. Um, there's four people at the table. I uh, bet out for 25. 25. And the guy calls. I got queen, six of hearts. We're going to get to the flop. The flop is king of hearts, eight of clubs, and five of hearts. Um, I just checked because I feel like I couldn't get no value if I bet it. And plus, um, I was just seeing if he had anything. Try to get some more um, money album if he had something. 
on the turn. There is a four hearts. And I check and he checks. And then on the river comes the ace of spades. Once again, I check, trying to get some value on, see what he got. And um, I'm gonna let y'all listen to the audio. I got a boy. I thought you were gonna do something. Nah, no. what? I will be playing at the meetup game with um, Wolf Game Poker and Close to Broke. So if y'all around the area, make sure you check it out. Come to the Horseshoe or Baltimore Casino. And um, also it's on the 24th of April from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. So hope to see you there. Take it easy. Let's get it, baby.